what's up guys today I have another tutorial for you and this one was another request um, and basically the person that requested it wanted a uh, trigger event that would turn the lights off in the game so with this trigger event script that comes with the horror FPS kit you can do a lot of things with it you can uh, activate animations you can um, turn game objects on and off you can change materials of objects um, you can start certain scripts you can activate components that are attached to objects um, so I'm going to run through a little simple version here, and what I'm going to do is, when I walk through a trigger, the lights are going to turn off. So I'll show you guys how to set that up, but uh, let's see what it looks like first. So let's start. <clears throat> Alright, so our lights are on. And we walk over here back out our lights turn off cool and if you guys notice the lights in this this room are off too all right so how do we set this up well it's pretty simple let me uh, turn my lights on so you guys can see what I'm doing here so there's actually two things I have going on right now I have a uh, trigger a lights off trigger which actually turns all the lights off and I have a lights off trigger activator which actually activates this trigger because I don't want the player walking into this room right away because here's my trigger here I don't want my player walking through this the first time and all the lights going off I want him to walk into this room come over here and back and on his way back out then the lights turn off um, so the way I did that was I have this trigger activator here and I added this trigger event script to it so to do that you go to add component trigger event and um, you want to make it a box collider so um, it's basically a cube so you can go to game object 3d object cube so align it to view here and you would take your mesh renderer off and you would uh, make this a trigger and then you would add your component to this and you know you would adjust it all that stuff you guys know how to do that so your player would walk through it um, pretty straightforward um, so when I go to my activator here, which is actually over here, so the player is going to walk through these doors. They're going to step through this box collider right here as they're turning on this light. And what that's going to do is it's going to activate our trigger, which is um, this guy right here. So as they're walking out of this room, then this trigger is going to activate and then all the lights are going to turn off. Cool. So the way to do this... Um, is on my activator here and you guys don't have to do this is just an extra step so that uh, um, you know my player doesn't turn it on right away but if you wanted it to turn on right away then you know you wouldn't have to do any of this but I basically just added the trigger event script and I clicked on the plus icon here and I literally just dragged my trigger into that slot and uh, I want to set it to activate as I walk through here so I went to game object set active and make sure that checkbox is checked because that's actually what's going to set it um, to activate. Cool, so at, when our player walks through this trigger here, once it's active, they'll be able to, to interact and walk through it, and all these different things are going to happen. I have a bunch of stuff on. Um, but the main thing I, I did was the lights. So um, it's the same concept here. So like this point light, for example, which is... Um, see which one this is because I got a bunch of them yeah this guy here so there's a bunch of point lights on my walls here this one that one um, this one you guys get the picture here you know we can turn them on and off um, so basically when when your player walks through the uh, trigger we just do the same thing we just click the plus icon here we take our point light whichever light we want to turn off and we can drag it Oops, let me go back. Cancel that. Um, go to our trigger. We just click the plus, plus icon there. And we can just drag a light in there. And we can set it to deactivate. So as long as this is unchecked, for example, this light right here. Um, this point light is this light, which is this light. So since that is unchecked, What's going to happen is when we walk through that trigger, it's going to turn off. 
And just to demonstrate, we can do this with literally anything. Like, let's say I want, um, I don't know, I want this shelf to disappear. <laughs> I can do that too. So we can go to our trigger, we can add a component, and let's just lock that. Click on our shelf, drag that in there. I can set it to disappear. So literally, if I were to walk through this again, go through, shelf is there. And you'll see nothing happens when I walk through here because I haven't walked through this trigger yet. So now since I walked through this trigger here, this one is now active. I walk through it. <laughs> Our shelf disappears and all of our lights turn off so you can do little things like that um, I'm gonna show you guys one more cool thing you can do this uh, this chandelier is actually a uh, it has a material on it which is on and off so I can drag the off material into there and you can see it looks like it's off I can drag the on material looks like it's on um, go back to my trigger so you can do that same thing with materials actually so you can set a material to play so when I walk through that all the lights turn off I want this to look like it's off too so what I would do is I would go to mesh renderer material material and I would literally just drag whatever material I want into that slot so normally this chandelier defaults with this on material and since I want this material to change to look like it's turned off, I would just drag this into that slot. So basically when you walk through that trigger, it's going to change the material of that lamp. So that's just another cool thing you can do. Um, you can trigger animations to play. Um, you can trigger different layers. So if you have one object that you, that, uh, you want the layer to change, you, know, you can uh, do that as well. Just a bunch of different things you guys can do. Cool, so if this helped you guys, uh, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.